Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make it look like your finger is completely frozen in ice. Now in order to do this, first we need completely clear ice. Notice what a regular ice cube looks like. There's a clear portion of it and then on the top there's a cloudy portion. The reason this happens is because liquid water actually has some dissolved air in it. And the colder the water is, the more dissolved air it can hold. So liquid water can hold a good amount of air in it. But as soon as it turns to a solid, it can't hold as much air anymore. So that air that was dissolved in the liquid needs to go somewhere. And where does it go? It just bubbles out of solution and makes tiny little bubbles. So in order to make clear ice, we have to use a method called directional freezing. Now in a regular ice cube tray, for example, you put some water in and stick it in your freezer and it starts to freeze from all sides. And as the outer edges freeze, it pushes that dissolved oxygen into the center. And when that center portion finally freezes, that dissolved oxygen just comes out in little tiny bubbles all over. And so the center of the ice cubes just look white because there's tiny little air bubbles in there. So the key to directional freezing is pushing those air bubbles away from the area where you want to have clear clear ice. So I have something that I'm going to use here called a crystal clear ice ball maker. And the way it does this is from directional freezing. Let me show you how it works. So this is just an insulated container. And what you do is you fill this up almost to the top with water. Then you take these two silicone molds here. You put them together like this. So these are going to make your spheres of ice. And they have these holes at the top here and holes at the bottom so that when you drop it in here, so now this is full of water completely through here, but the sides are insulated, the top isn't. It's completely exposed here. So this water on top can start freezing. The crystal's gonna start right here. And then as it freezes, it's gonna move down slowly to this well of water at the bottom. So you just leave this in your freezer for about 24 hours and hopefully at the end, you're gonna have crystal clear ice balls on top and then some not completely froze water at the bottom. So let's stick this in the freezer and see if it works. Now, while we're waiting for this to freeze, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a mobile game that actually rewards you for your skills instead of just paying to win. Mech Arena is a five versus five game where you progress based on your skill. You can see here how I can take on the bigger mechs with smarter gameplay and better weapon combinations. Also, there are tons of free ways to get resources and progress in the game. Mech Arena just released the amazing pilots feature with 12 completely unique pilots to choose from. This is really cool because pilots add a whole new depth to the strategy of the game and the variety as well. You can even customize your pilot skills to build pilots that fit your personality, your play style, and your mechs, and specialize with certain weapons or with certain mechs. You can collect rare, epic, and legendary pilots, then pair your pilots with any mech in the game. You can discover new combinations and tactics to outsmart and outplay your opponents. So if you want to try out Mech Arena, it's completely free to play on Android and iOS right now. And you can use my personal link or scan my QR code to get one Steel Reaper skin, 500 A coins, and 70,000 credits to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can add me to your friends using this username, and we can play some matches together. So don't wait around. Now let's get back to our experiment. Okay, let's get it out of the freezer. Okay, I would say that worked. These are completely clear. This is pretty cool. And you can tell that it froze from the top down because if I chip away at this bottom ice in here, you can see that there's still liquid in here. You can see it's freezing from the top bottom. If I take it out before the due time, then you can see that the balls aren't completely frozen. They're only about three fourths the way frozen. So now that we have our crystal clear ice balls, we can take advantage of the fact that liquid water and solid water have the same index of refraction. And when things have the same refractive index, that means that you can't really tell when light's passing through one versus the other. That's why things look bent when you pass them from air to water, because the refractive indices are so different. But water has a refractive index of 1.33, and ice has a refractive index of 1.31. So what that means is if you have crystal clear ice and water, then you can't really tell there's a solid in the water. For example, let me take this crystal clear ice here, and I'm gonna put it in the water, and look how you can't even tell it's in there. So the light bends the same whether or not it's going through the water or the ice. And so it looks completely the same whether or not there's ice or water in there. So now what we do is we take one of these balls of crystal clear ice and drill a hole in it. Now if you stick your finger in that hole, it doesn't really look like your finger's frozen in there at all because you can see the air gaps around it. But remember that water and ice have the same refractive index. So watch what happens when we fill that ice hole with water. 
you can't even see that there's a hole there anymore. And then you just stick your finger in there and it looks like your finger is completely frozen in ice. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like I just left my finger in that mold overnight and it froze. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.